Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer of the DRF.com Formulator Race of the Day for Sunday. February the 19th is race number seven at Santa Anita. We're going six furlongs. It's the $100,000 Spring Fever Handicap for California Breads. Let's take a look at this field, and I want to remind everybody that free Formulator Pass performances are available on the Race of the Day event page. Download them and follow along with us as we handicap in post position order. The number one cuddle alert went over a wet track two starts back, yep. and there's a good chance she's going to get a wet track one more time. Yeah, it's true. That's actually a, a very good point because she seems to like it. She ran fine in that race. Um, I, this race all comes down to how you feel about Sunday Rules. I mean, Sunday Rules is a short price, and it seems like a likely winner. If she just for some reason can't run anymore, I guess this is one of the horses you could go to. Yeah, I mean, she's got a little bit of a kick. The question is, who's going to run with Sunday rules yeah. early? Maybe it'll be the three late and left who we'll get to in a minute. But if she can't run with Sunday rules right. early, it could be all over but the shouting. As for Cuddle Alert, solid effort, two starts back, solid performer turf, solid on dirt. She could make a late run and certainly get a piece yep. of this at the very least. The number two is Smooth It who's done some very nice things, albeit on turf. Yeah. Is she really a dirt filly? I mean, she doesn't look like she is. I would be happy to take a shot with her in a race like this, especially because I liked her return off that layoff last time. I thought, I thought she ran really well in there to be second. She just doesn't really have the dirt races to point to to want to take her in this race. Yeah, maybe she catches a wet track and maybe that helps her. I don't know, Dan. The number three, late and left, has won three out of her last four races. The problem could be yeah. that the one lost during that span came over a muddy track when she was beaten by Cuddle Alert. She wired $32,000 platers last time out. Didn't change leads in the stretch. 85 buyer, solid enough number. At least she's recent and she's got form. Yeah, I guess the wet track race too back could be a little problem for her. The bigger problem for her is she's more of a speed type and she's not as fast as Sunday rules. Now we've got the layoff horses to concern ourselves with. The four is Kiss at Midnight. We have not seen her since the middle of June where she ran a very poor sixth in an optional claimer at Santa Anita. I mean, that race has come back pretty live with three next out winners, but she didn't change leads in the stretch. She never really looked comfortable, and this is a mare that before the layoff was burning money left and right. True enough, but she was also, you know, to me anyway, burning money. I don't know why they insisted on going long with her around two turns. I don't know why they, you know, tried turf a couple of times. Um, to me, she's a closing sprinter. This is what she wants to do. She starts back in the right kind of a race. She fits well with this field. She'll be running at the end of the race. Does she have anything to run at? Is Sunday rules going to be coming back to her at the end of the race? Those are the questions. I like her. She just seems to me to be way more likely to run second in here than she does to win. Just look at her career box. 16 starts, seven runner-up finishes. It's where she likes to be. The number five is Sunday rules. I'm not sure I'd want to take three to five. That's nope. what she's listed at on the morning line. She has a very enviable record, obviously. Eight wins from 11 starts, but we haven't seen her since the 4th of July. In that race, she was involved in kind of a wicked pace duel. It was a short field, and she went at it with the horse that ended up finishing third out yeah. of four. She ended up finishing fourth out of four. At the end of the day, though, she was still three to ten. Yeah, she was terrible in there. I mean, she got right to the front of that field. Codacious, the horse that wound up finishing just ahead of her, just came up and challenged her for it. And this horse never looked like she was going to win after she took on that pressure from that horse. I don't know. Something obviously went wrong. We haven't seen her in a long time. Her race is prior to that. And forget about the Madison. She was bad in the Madison, too, but she was never going to beat that field. Her races prior to that just stand out in this field. If she has her speed and all is well with her, she goes to the front. If she handles a wet track, I guess, too, you have to worry about that. But if, she's just supposed to go right to the front and beat this field. She worked in 34 and changed the other day. We yeah. hope that indicates that she still has some of that blazing early speed. The six is all square, like Sunday rules, trained by Phil D'Amato. A winner going two turns at Los Alamitos on September the 18th. That was a race with a very slow pace, and she was on it throughout. Yeah, we'll see what happens as they cut her back to sprint in this race. Off another little bit of a layoff for her as well. They've never really done much sprinting with her, so I don't know what you're going to get here. Let's look at our top selections for the $100,000 Spring Fever Handicap race number seven at Santana. We're both going with Sunday rules. I wouldn't bet a dime on her three to five, but she's yeah, supposed yeah. to beat this field. Right. I just, I mean, I just couldn't find the alternative. Anybody else who was that interesting to bet at? Maybe Kiss at Midnight's a little interesting turning back, but she's no great shape. Maybe I try to get the two speed number in five three home late and left at least has some recency. I'm not sure she's going to be that interested in going after the five yeah. early. A stakes placing makes her a lot more valuable. Daughter of Lucky Pulp, it could become a broodmare. Uh, the horse to beat Sunday rules in Sunday's formulator race of the day. If you are playing the Sunday Santa Anita card from home, a $300 sign-up bonus is waiting for you at drf.com slash trifecta. Approximate post time for the Spring Fever Handicap race number seven at the Great Race Place on Sunday, 3.30 Pacific. Best of luck.